Hey everyone, this is Coop, aka Cisco Cracker. So I don't know how well the lighting is going to come out on this deal because um, the sun, as you can see, is on the other side of the car. It's late in the day. Uh, but I did want to make a video update about this window business. I've made some still shots, so I'm going to create a uh, blog post update. But, you know, some of the stuff's a lot easier to see as the camera moves around and to hear an overall explanation. Now, I've got a previous video out there. Uh, explaining what I was going to do, but now we can actually see some of the steps as they're taking place. So um, the door latch is in, um, as you can see, over there. Um, and now uh, this was the piece I was talking about where the um, after the door was was hung, you know, hinged properly so that it strikes a straight line and can be latched. Um, the next thing that was going to follow was putting. Um, the door skin back on and drilling rivets into it so that it would hold its position. Uh, there was also rivets drilled in down low to know where the bottom of the door would go once the door um, skin was cut away. So then uh, I used a tool and I come along here and I cut that out, um, you know, away from both sides of this thing here. So I've got a separate door skin which is here. Yeah, washer and dryer is for sale. It's a running joke. Um, but it really is for sale. Anyhow, so there is um, a way to get that bottom skin back in the exact same position by having those bottom um, spots drilled and riveted along through there. When we go to put the skin back on, it'll line right back up exactly where it was previously. And there's no time wasted uh, messing around trying to figure that out. So now that that's in, uh, we got the uh, framing pieces put in, uh, drilled, drilled and riveted across the top. And then I went ahead and drilled and riveted both of these sides, hoping to be lucky. And, of course, I wasn't lucky. So the smart thing to do there is uh, get the top in, um, get like one hole and rivet in the top of each of these rails and then go ahead and slide your glass up in there tape it up so it'll stay and then let the rails hang out wherever they may and as you can see on this one if I can get close enough here this line's thicker then it gets thinner then it gets thicker again so you don't really know where that's going to land um, ahead of time so you just have to put it in there and, and see where it goes uh, but once you do get a good fitment, and by the way, this glass is uh, replacement glass, um, but it's not OEM quality, and it's very wavy. If you look along the length in my still pictures in the blog post uh, update, you'll actually see the line of the glass doing this. As you go along through here, it, it kind of waves back and forth. It, it, it does not make a straight line through here, and that channel is straight, so that was a pain to deal with. But anyhow, I uh, got that piece in, you know, I uh, previously got these little round buttons away from my uh, donor glass and drilled those out, cleaned them up. Uh, quarter 20 hardware fits in there perfectly. I've got the old um, hooks uh, where they drill through and, and anchor to these guys um, from the original donor piece, which was originally attached on here. This has been cut. Uh, this side of here is actually right there. You can see that diagonal line where it's continuing as part of this diagonal line. Um, so these have got to be repositioned on this horizontal bar, which is part of the, you know, how the uh, window regulator operates to keep the window level as it goes up and down. Now as it's turning out, I'm not getting these two to line up um, level. These two here are not coming in level. You can see that one's higher on the bar. This one's lower on the bar. So, um, I haven't attached them, you know, in any kind of way just yet. There's, there's a gap in here. Uh, but that's my next thing. I'm going to have to attach those to that bar and then run the motor. I did reclock the motor, so I drilled some new holes in the bracket. Um, you can see that one down there where it's eclipsing over the original hole inside there so it doesn't line up properly. But um, the motor's engaged properly. It stays out of the way of the main bar. And then my next thing to deal with, of course, is going to be the um, the strut coming through there, the uh, piston, you know, that's going to lift the door. So that's my next thing. 
to deal with after after this window regulator is done. So this is just sitting in there right now. It, it's not bolted in or anything. Um, but yeah, I, I got to finalize getting this thing exactly where it belongs. Uh, this is actually going to come out some. I've stuck it up in there pretty good. Yeah, this will come out and meet the glass. There it is. So I'll pull that back out a bit. Um, and then that'll be that. Uh, I'll be able to get this thing in here at the right angle. Uh, I do believe, looking down through here, you can see the angle of glass coming down and the angle of this. This actually does have a radius in it, uh, but that bottom is probably out too far. I'll probably get, the, get this bottom rail in more. So um, I probably will even cut away even more off the bottom of that so it can go in more. Um, but anyhow, so you can see what it takes to get one of these regulators in one of these doors. Um, I guess thanks for watching. That will be the update for this turn.